Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, in today's tutorial, we're going to um, we're going to look into another type of market scan. Uh, we call it bulk bulk market scan. Uh, so this this is another type of market scan, and uh, we provide it in our application. So in this video tutorial, we're going to show you guys in what kind of circumstances you would like to use this type of market scan to get preferred results. Uh, let's go straight into our application. Okay, so we're assuming we have this type of mark scan. Um, we are going to scan Australia top 200 uh, share market. So the condition we only use one, which is EMA 5, 10, 20, 30, 50 group clustering less than 2%. So first of all, let's take a look how we define this indicator filter, right? So because we only use this one uh, single indicator filter. If we go into our indicator filter management, so take a look at that. As you can see, this indicator filter, we have uh, six conditions, right? So if you're familiar with that uh, moving average clustering idea, as you can see, we have uh, five conditions here. Um, so we require the five weeks EMA and 10 weeks EMA. The difference has to be less than 1%. Um, similarly, 10 weeks and 20 weeks EMA, we also require their difference of difference should be less than 1%. Uh, 20 weeks to 30 weeks EMA, there are less than 1% difference. And then until, you know, the 50 and five weeks also less than 1% difference. So in, if we specify the conditions like that, uh, as you can see, we are asking a scenario that market scan should pick up for us, which is the 5, 10, 20, 30, 50, the moving average are clustering with each other and within 1%. Okay, so let me just change that. A title okay so this is the very strict condition uh, as you can see we added one more if we add it for it here so we added one more indicator uh, condition here is so we are um, using the RSM so which is the relative strength mass view indicator uh, we compare every security or stocks with the overall market so as you can see the we are specify AXJO, so that's the top 200 Australian market index. Um, so this RSM indicator has to be sloping up since last 12. So not only those uh, clustering of the moving average should occur, uh, also we want to see we want to see the RSM indicator also point up. So uh, no matter if it stays above zero or under zero, it doesn't matter as long as it's, you know, uh, it's moving up, which is, uh, is improving its relative strength compared to the overall market performance. Uh, with these six conditions specified here, let's do a market scan against our latest data. So today is 2nd of January. And um, our last trading day for last week is the 31st of um, December 2021. Um, so we scan up to our latest trading uh, trading day. Okay. And um, okay, now let's have a look here. The market scan control panel. So let's run this um, demo one and see what it will get. All right. So if you click OK button, so the summary of the conditions we're using, so that looks all right. And um, if you click OK, so as you can see, we don't get anything. OK, so which means in the last trading day, the entire 200 stocks, the none of them fulfill this condition. So that's why we don't have any results. Um, OK, let's just. Get rid of that. Don't need this. Let's do it again. Okay, no, we don't have this condition. All right, so if you want to see something, usually you would say, okay, let's just move in uh, one week before. 
scan up to 24th of December um, see if we got anything let's scan up to 24th of December okay we got nothing again right so if you keep moving the dates in the front you you trying to you know get something out from the uh, from the market scan because this is a very strict condition and it's frustrated you know for us to just keep changing the date and do it so instead of so whenever you you set up a very strict condition and usually you wouldn't see it happen every day every week and um, y you can set up you can change to from the normal market scan to a bulk market scan right uh, that's the box bulk um, market scan come into play so what you can do is it um, you can check the box scan each time units before so you check this checkbox that we are open the box market scan configuration so first of all you have to specify weekly because uh, this is all our condition set up here are weekly based so the market scan here uh, the bulk market scan units you specify weekly as well okay remember that's very important and then you come back to as you can see the um, front and dates are changed here you have you'll be able to specify uh, the third one so first of all we leave it at start as it is because this is the first uh, uh, first first unit of the entire chart so basically you can specify the front and two what that mean is look you can specify a couple of months before for example let's just say uh, I want to scam starts from you know uh, March 3rd 19th, 19th of March 2021 okay so we'll leave these two as it is to the present day so what happened is um, the market scan let's open a chart maybe easier to, for us to understand it all right so market scan will start a scan because we specified from is the uh, March of March 19 2021 so here probably here so let's just say here so, so this is the um, that S this is let's just write something here so here is um, 1903 2020 okay so that's our front dates from this vertical line and we scan up to here all right so that's the present day as you can see what happened is the market scan we're going to scan every single week okay you during this range all right so market scan will scan every bar to see every week because we specify week right the units right here we specify we specified uh, week as the unit so the box scan will scan every single week to see if anything uh, any stocks fulfill our condition if you find something we will display in the result so even though that condition conditions six conditions grouped together is very strict but uh, if you do find something during this period of time and we scan every single week for entire market for all the market for all the shares during this time period and if you find something we'll display in the market scan results so that we call box scan so because you do now as the human uh, we don't know you know um, anything like this will will fulfill the uh, requirements so we don't know uh, instead of manually to set up the one week one week one week before before and we scan again repeatedly scan it uh, we have we let the computer the, this application to scan it like that automatically for us so that we call it market scan so let's review it again if you want to start a market a bulk market scan what you can do is first of all you uh, check this box scan each time units defined below check that checkbox if you checked on uh, tick this checkbox so the bulk market scan mode is open right so and then specify the chart type if you your conditions is defined to check the weekly chart so you have to select weekly so if your market scan scanning daily chart you have to select daily or monthly etc and then you specify the front two you leave the star as this so you can pre front 
is the dates uh, you want to mark box scan star with, right? Like like this. This is a star, 19th of March, 2021. So according to this example, and the second one is you have to specify the two. Um, we in our example right now we specify the 31st as the two days so that's the bulk uh, market scan stops okay so it stops scanning after scanning 31st of December 2021 the bulk scan finishes so that's uh, two time um, you know dates of time uh, you have to define the front and two for the bulk scan okay so that's all you need to specify anything else stays the same you don't need to change the market uh, conditions so you don't want to change it as well so you can leave it as it is everything is the same as the normal scan only difference is you check this checkbox pick up the unit uh, the correct uh, date chart type unit and also specify a front and two date and you can kick off your box scan right so let's come back to you at the moment we have nothing here in the results uh, let's go into the market scan control panel and start again okay so we, s we stop here for a few seconds just take a look what's the difference for the summary um, as you can see the market uh, market scan name is saying from we scan from you know 1st of January 2011 box from the box from means when the box scan starts with well we specify uh, 19th of March 2021 so that's exactly the date put it here and the box two so we uh, leave it the um, last trading day of our data so that where that is the 31st of December 2021 right and there's another different places the scan type as you can see here instead of a normal scan and uh, now you can see it defines as a box scan and then because we chose we choose we chose the, um, the unit as weekly right so that is a weekly box scan all right we scan every week okay so the conditions are a little the same let's see what we can get from this box scan so the box scan usually will take a bit of longer time than a normal scan because you have to, uh, the our application uh, will require to scan every week depends how long that uh, period you defined here uh, so yeah that's okay so just be patient and let it finish its job okay let's start it now okay the scanner is doing and working scanning every week from 19th of March 2021 to 31st of December 2021 uh, we will come back when the box scan is finished okay the bulk scan finish it uh, when when you run in the box scan so don't rely on that the number so uh, that just tells you how many weeks between that period so we need to go back to the uh, market scan management page and refresh the real scan result history and then we'll see if you got anything so as you can see if we if I click the refreshed result tree so as you can see we got uh, many results from between this period okay uh, let's examine then month by, by month so let's just collapse all those results here and then just take a look the the month so as you can see um, anything we got from December and March right let's start from the March so and the 19th of um, uh, 19th of Ma March 2021 we have three results fulfill this uh, criteria the first war let's open the first one uh, we need to find out as you can see that vertical dashed line shows when this uh, scan stops so stops and stops on here uh, because this is a um, bullish sentiment market scan uh, we are happy to see oh sorry uh, we're going back to the March 19th so we are happy to see the shares after that date of scanning uh, it is went up right so this one is going up a lot NSR uh, RHC is up as well and also SCP is up as well up to today so if you bought that that time uh, we do get a decent profit so anyway let's go review the results uh, first one is the uh, NSR let's open up this thing okay we have to going back to the time uh, 19th of March 2021 right here okay so look like this bar 
as you can see that uh, date right here is telling uh, because our scan stops from here okay so here uh, as you can see the moving average line right here for this date is clustering together and less than one percent and another important thing is we also specify the relative strength mass field has to be sloping up so we haven't started open our um, RSM indicator and let's do it now okay we select um, AXJO so that's our index okay we we open our uh, mass view indicator compared to our overall market as you can see right here the 19th of uh, 19th of um, March so if you see the uh, relative strength mass view indicator at that time uh, at that time this indicator is sloping up right so there's a second condition is also fulfilled so this that means this one is very good pickup because the moving average clustering together and uh, compared to the in overall market this this security this this stock actually outperformed the market right because it's just crossed the zero and also point up so this is a very good one uh, if we bought at that time all right and you up to today you got um, almost 80% uh, of the profit cool so let's save I can't save the relative strength mass field right anyway so let's moving on to take a look the second one SCP so why are we looking at the 19th of April because this date result is picked up as uh, 19th of all uh, 19th of March 2021 sorry so that's where this that's the time uh, we we picked up this year uh, let's take a look this X a XJO let's just copy that one but easy for next time all right let's find out the 19th of March uh, 2021 and uh, things here that bar right here okay so as you can see here uh, the vertical line points out the 19th of I uh, 19th of March 2021 so in that date look at the moving average clustering here uh, within 1% so that's very strict uh, condition so as you can see the moving average not like this close to each other for the 99 percent time but because this condition is very strict so this happens in that date so if you do this daily you will be lucky to scan and get this one and also compare the relative strength mass field also move up right sloping up since last 12 so it's moving up and two conditions added up so it's increased the probability that you might get a, a share that will keep going up so uh, even though it's as you can see if you bought that time even though the dips back and then retested the support for twice but eventually it went up and up to today it's three dollars something already so that's the good results okay um, the bulk scan because it's scanned every week from the 19th of March 2021 to 31st of December so it picks up so many things along the way between this date so let's take a look um, another one also it found two stocks in 20 26th of March um, 2021 so let's take a look two of them are up but this one is pretty good let's take a look at SKI uh, if you um, also we need to open the RSM uh, not RSI sorry it's RSM relative strength mass fill indicator so this is our uh, indicator that helps you to compare your underlying security with the uh, overall market performance uh, let's go back to 19th of march 2021 so this time is right here as you can see from the chart the so moving average clustering together almost stick together right so that's a good one because um, you don't see this happen all the time I and mean, this is means the momentum is compressed to some extent to some extreme extent it's going to breaks up or down uh, by the way look, take a look the uh, RSM indicator as well on the 19th of uh, March so the RSR the RSM indicator sloping up okay all right so um, the box scan 
the box scan actually picks up any candidates you know between this period of time when you start from your from and to dates it will scan every single week uh, even though it's not happening every day as you can see March after 26 nothing will like this happen because then there's no more results in March so you have to jump into next month and also the April as you can see the April the first time they find it is in the 9th of April it finds one like CFW fulfill this this uh, condition so it's in the April's results and also if the times going on as you can see the scan scan every week it finds MPL in uh, in another date in April so that's the 23rd of the, of April so let's take a look at the 23rd of April one um, also we need to bring up our RSM indicator the 26th of April was it <coughs> 23 of April sorry 23 of April right here as you can see here uh, so this red up bar here moving average stick to each other and the range range it difference of range is less than one percent because they're almost touching each other right here and take a look the uh, relative strength mansfield right now it is point up right it is moving up since the last 12 so it's pointing it's moving up as well so these two conditions combined together give us a very bullish signal um so that's um that's why this stocks in our result sets okay so i'm not going to show you any more um so okay interesting so in in today we have to actually yeah tco and a bga fulfill these conditions again um it might be a good buy opportunity next week so um yeah so as you can see this is what the um powerful powerful uh, perform a uh, powerful usage of this a uh, bulk uh, bulk market scan so based on a very strict indi uh, indicator filter uh, so it's gonna scan a period of time you can specify um, the frequency how I mean you can specify the uh, chart type and then you do you specify the star and two front and two dates so the bump the box the bulk scan will scan in everything between so that's the usage of this um, uh, type of market scam okay so let's review what we just learned from this this section so first of all if you set up the indicator uh, any or any any combination of uh, indica indicator or trend filters any combination of your indicator filter or trend filters as long as this combination is very strict and as long as this uh, condition is uh, very tricky and not happen every day every week um, but you really want to see what happened uh, in the recent time so you can specify the market scan to do a box scan so the box scan is you need to check this box scan checkbox here so to enable this mode and then you have to specify the bulk scan from and bulk scan to right so and then leave this everything as it is and then you do the bulk scan so as you can see if you're lucky you will get uh, all the results during that period okay and so in that case you can verify your your condition setup or your market scan it performs okay or not for example if you are doing a um, potential <coughs> bullish market scan so you expect that all the result sets will going up keep going up uh, in the later days or in the future or whatever so um, as you can see here to, to, to prove this that because we have a vertical line to tell you when the box scan stops here so you actually can use in the future or the later date to verify if your scan is doing a good job or not or but in our another video tutorial we'll show you guys how to you further verify your market scan is performs as expected or not or what is the performance it uh, by using our uh, watch list so uh, stay stay um, take a look at another video so we're gonna uh, looking into that in a more detail so but in this tutorial I think I have showed you guys all the procedure and details how to set up the bulk market scan and what kind of circumstances you want to use a bulk the bulk uh, market scan okay so I think that's pretty much all for this video 
tutorial. I hopefully you guys thinking that content will be useful for your daily work or for your analysis. I uh, really appreciate your time to watch our video tutorials and yeah. Um, um, thanks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in next video tutorial. Bye for now.